Ian, given the enormity of the game, was was Kieran ever going to miss it? Uh, look, well, one is he doesn't want to miss it. <laughs> you know, he's desperate to play, and um, and you know he's our leader, so that's natural. But two is that the diagnosis was always been that he was going to be due to play this game. So we've just been monitoring that progress versus the initial diagnosis and a little bit touch and go for last week, whether there was a chance to get him a, a few minutes under his belt. Didn't happen, but, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty satisfied. He's had his first real solid hit out with contact and everything and, you know, hopefully he comes through that really well by the end of the day and, and it's... Uh, becomes a reasonably easy decision. Well, you know, rito has been a, a sort of a big part of the leadership group for a long time now. And, you know, just the, the way he, I think he grew into the, into, the, into the role last year. And, you know, the, the biggest sort of accolade I can give him is the way he grew people around him. And, and his, he had a very inclusive leadership style and he encouraged a lot of decision making from the player group around him. And, and he earned a lot of respect for that. So, you know, we've got other people who will do a job. I thought Mender did a great job last week. But, you know, to have Rito back would be a real boost for us.